Hey everyone, welcome to an episode of Gear Talk with me where I talk about running shoes, apparel, and accessories. Today I'm going to be talking about shoes. So I'm really excited to kick off my very first running shoe video and I thought what a better way to introduce my shoe videos with my current favorite pair that is out right now. That is the Brooks Launch GTS version 9. First of all, I love this colorway. It's amazing, um, but the shoe is a great fit overall. Um, before I begin, I just want to say thanks for hopping in on this video, whether you're into running, fitness in general, or just curious about what products are out there. Um, in 2020, I was running and kind of looking for a shoe that um, would give my foot a little bit more oomph. My foot definitely felt more fatigued, you know, after and during the runs. Um, so I thought I would just go and see, you know, what other support versions are out there for me. Um, that's when I was introduced to the Brooks Ravenna. I used to run in this shoe back in high school, um, but definitely kind of gave it a break. And then in 2020 is when I kind of revisited it and um, definitely have learned to love the guide rail system that Brooks offers. So you've got the guide rails here, both medially and laterally on the shoe, um, giving your foot kind of that extra support to prevent you from having any inward rotation. Um, so again, the Brooks Ravenna, this is version 11. Um, again, learned to love it, um, enjoyed the shoe for many, many miles and many months. Um, and then January 2021, came and they decided to rename and update the shoe. So if you're a runner, you know out there that, you know, the scariest thing is your shoe updating um, to, you know, the newest, newest and greatest. But for me, that shoe went through not only an update, but a name change. That brought on the Launch GTS. This is version eight. Um, thankfully, I was gifted a pair from the Brooks Kansas City Guru Rep Allen, and um, I was, I'm really glad that he did decide to hand off a pair to me because this has been my shoe for basically since the very beginning. Um, one thing that they updated here between the Ravenna is now you have more of a structured heel here. Um, so you can kind of see how it dips up and I love this change within the shoe. The shoe does not shift up and down on your foot and it definitely gives your foot and your heel a nice secured hug. Um, another definite change here is the upper. So they went to a more airy and mesh upper. Um, so that was what, when my initial, when I initially got the shoe, my first step in, I felt like the shoe was maybe a little bit too big. Um, I was definitely nervous, but I took it out for a couple runs and quickly realized like, nope, this is a shoe for me. This is the size for me. Um, love it again having a more airy and mesh upper definitely makes the shoe more breathable so that's one thing that I really appreciate um, moving on to this year's current version which is the GTS version 9 um, so again they kept that structure heel here now we have another mesh um, an upper change with the Creole, Creole warped um, mesh upper still keeping the guide rails that we know and love um, and then adding two millimeters of the Biomogo DNA. This makes the shoe extra cushiony as if it couldn't get any better. Um, more cushion within the shoe, so a responsive ride. Um, with the Creole warped um, upper, it made the shoe that much more airy and lightweight. So for a women's size eight, the Brooks Launch GTS version eight weighed in at 7.9 ounces. And then for the Launch GTS version 9 for a women's 8, this one weighed in at 7.44 ounces. So again, making it lighter. Even, you know, it's crazy what they can do with running shoes anymore, keeping the structure of the shoe, but making it that much more lighter. Um, so what I love about this shoe is that it's great for shorter, um, kind of quicker miles. So if you're looking for a speed shoe with um, some added support, this is it. Um, again, it's going to provide you with um, kind of that more flexibility to provide you with faster transition um, and then uh, having that nice air, airy feel within the shoe and then the fitted feel kind of in the back with that structured heel. Um, again, very nice and lightweight. Um, I believe the men's is 8.6 ounces and then again, this ladies for a women's size 8 is 7.44 ounces. Um, definitely a great shoe to have in your collection. Again, I kind of recommend it for more of those quicker, um, kind of faster runs. Um, for me, honestly, I wear it for short runs too and I love it. Durability is great on here. you got the um, rubber here on the bottom and um, I believe it can go for 400 miles if not more. So, love this colorway. Like I said again, the pink is definitely a popping color for me. Um, Love running in this shoe. I'm super glad that I was um, able to get a couple pairs, my hands on a couple pairs of not only version eight, but version nine, because I hope that this shoe does not go away. Um, it's gonna last me quite a while, and um, I've enjoyed putting many miles on it. So um, definitely feel free to let me know if you have any questions below, if you've tried this shoe yourself, um, or maybe even the launch, um, the one without the guide, guide rails on it. Definitely let me know as well. 
Uh, I'm interested to know your feedback, what you're running in currently, um, and if you've tried the shoe on. If not, I dare you to take the challenge and pop into your local running store, give it a try on, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions below. Otherwise, hit that like button, and I'm excited to see you again soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.